efforts continue to improve the profitability of the Bahamas Development Bank, and that calls for unveiling a new strategic plan, one aimed at putting the state-owned organization on a path to recover its investments and earn a bit of interest. That, according to Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Turnquist, will in turn be reinvested into further developments. At this point, uh, we believe that while it is never enough, uh, in conjunction with the Small Business Development Center, uh, the Joint Venture Capital Fund, we believe that the, we will be funneling enough business through the Bahamas Development Bank for it to, to get some legs and hopefully uh, provide the stability that it needs in order to, to really fulfill its mandate. During the budget wrap-up, the finance minister also responded to questions regarding the $16.1 million earmarked for Lucayan Renew and Renewal Holdings, the special purpose vehicle tasked with acquiring all the assets of the beleaguered Grand Lucayan Resort. When we acquired the, the Arlucaya Hotel in Grand Bahama, uh, we took over the operations, uh, which was at a loss-making position. Uh, the, the acquisition was with the intent to turn it over. Uh, which we have been successfully um, um, have a, uh, uh, agreement to turn it over to a new owner, uh, which we anticipate should be happening soon. I don't want to give a date. Um, but we do not anticipate carrying this cost, operating cost, going forward into the new year, uh, because it will be turned over to this new operator. Uh, as you know, the hotel is, is shut down now. Uh, and so there's really not much going on there uh, other than the skeleton crew uh, to, to uh, maintain the property, et cetera. Um, and so we, we do not anticipate that we will have that expenditure in the new fiscal year.